Hey everybody, this is Ty Terrell with IFAST University. This month we're gonna talk about what does your rep look like? And for the sake of just an easy example, we're gonna use the squat as that example. But before we dive into that, let's talk about the three phases of, of a rep or a movement. There's the eccentric, isometric, and concentric phase. Now essentially, those are kind of, it's pretty basic, we learned that right off the bat, but for those of us that may not know, the eccentric phase is the loading of a movement or the lengthening of a tissue in the movement. The isometric phase essentially is when the external resistance, so like the weight on the bar, matches my force output so there's zero movement. And then the concentric phase is the unloading of a movement or the, the shortening of those tissues. Um, but really the, the concentric phase is, is really just a demonstration or an expression of your abilities. So with that said, let's make a note that the eccentric and isometric portions of a rep or movement can potentiate the concentric phase. And what I mean by that is the eccentric rep or the eccentric and isometric phase can increase the force, power, and speed of the concentric phase. So essentially they can improve that expression or that concentric uh, um, unloading of the movement. With all that said, let's now dive into what those reps may look like. The second presentation that we put on the board was a vertical eccentric and a wide or flat concentric. So the vertical eccentric, and I'm just gonna keep repeating this so I hammer the point home, means that they can decelerate later in the eccentric phase, create stiffness at the end of that eccentric phase, and potentiate the, you know, take advantage of that stored energy and potentiate the concentric phase. The problem is if, if you have a vertical eccentric and a wide or flat concentric is that uh, you probably just not like innately don't have a great uh, power output or rate of force development in that concentric phase anyways. So this is the athlete or the client that is kind of slow out of the hole when you're, when you're squatting. So we've all seen someone like that. So what we've done is we have hooked up some bands above us to assist us out of the bottom of that squat. Bands are terrific because um, as I sink lower into that squat, at the very bottom, when it's the hardest for me to come up, the band uh, assistance is the strongest because the band's being stretched out. As I come up out of the squat, the band shortens and so it is giving me less resistance so I am essentially doing more work as I, as I uh, get higher to the end, or get closer to the end of my, uh, con at the end of my concentric phase. So let's take a look at, at what that is. So the band essentially unweights the bar throughout the movement. It unweights the bar the most in the bottom of the movement, allowing me to, to, to come up out of the hole a little quicker, um, speeding my, kind of, kind of forcing my, my body to speed up, uh, increasing my rate of force development. So some of you are inevitably going to ask, what is the difference between band resisted and band assisted? I hope this presentation opened your eyes or gave you some good information on how to look at your athletes when they move. So we use technology called a gym aware that allows, actually allows me to print out graphs of, of my athletes' reps. Not a lot of people have that uh, uh, technology available to them. So use your coaching eye. And essentially that's, you know, that's, we're all coaches so we need to be doing that anyways. So if I have an athlete that's slow into the eccentric, slow out of the hole into the concentric, that's slow off the ground or quick off the ground or isn't fast enough in a movement or doesn't look like they're creating enough power in a movement, you can see that as a coach. And then when you see that, you can kind of place them in these different presentations and provide the appropriate training. 
So with that said, I hope you guys, if you have any questions or comments, head over to the Facebook group, throw them up there. The truth is that's where the education really comes anyways, having conversation about this information uh, after you've seen it and we can dive deeper and we can all learn and grow. So with that said, I appreciate you guys for, for tuning in and we'll see you next month.